All right, so I normally don't do blog from my car, but, um, you know, I think I may have to do a little bit of investigative reporting here. I want you to take a look at something. You tell me uh, if it's a good idea. It's definitely worth a little bit of research. I think, I'll do a, I think I'll do a post on this. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is a mobile barber shop, mobile barber service, is that a, is that a good idea? I don't know, I may have to run the numbers on this. I have to admit that uh, I have never, never had a mobile haircut. Okay, let's see, uh, see what I can come up with. All right, I figure I would get on the old interwebs here and do a little research on what it would take to get a mobile barbershop up and running. You know, the vehicle we saw was a step van. So I just got on Google. I'm going to do a simple search, used step van. I found some pretty good results here. I think um, I'm pretty familiar with the uh, commercial truck trader. So let's let's start there. All right, this is definitely what we're looking for. It's a step van, right? That's what uh, we saw. So I'm thinking, you know, we probably need to think about uh, starting on a shoestring here. I see some for 20000 which is not bad. Uh, I see some for 10000 That's probably a little closer to where we need to be. So I'm going to go down to price here. I'm just going to filter out between ten and $15,000 for a van. Um, so, you know, this is a fine line that you have to walk here, I guess, because, you know, any cheaper, you're going to have lots of high mileage. Potentially, you're going to have, you know, issues with the vehicle. So unless you're a barber and a mechanic, you're probably going to want to find a better vehicle to use. And so I'm going to look at this, this step van right here at 14500 This might be the way to go right here. It's a good looking van. You know, let's look at some of the pictures here. It's pretty clean. I mean, there's some, there's already some, you know, some graphics on the side. Maybe you could make that work for your barbershop. Uh, you know, mileage, let's see, mileage isn't, uh, is it too bad? Let's see, where is it at? Um, anyway, I don't see the miles on it, but. Uh, but hey, look at this. There's a little payment calculator on it. So, you know, let's say that you've got uh, $2,500 to put down and uh, so you can find a loan at 8.9%. And, you know, I guess you're going to commit to being in business for at least 48 months. Um, I mean, obviously paying cash is the way you want to go if you have it. If not, then, you know, there's, you know, it's going to cost you 300 bucks a month which I guess if cash flow is an issue, that might work out for you. I mean, how many haircuts is that per month at $25 per haircut, you know? So that's, uh, you know, 12, I guess, haircuts a month. Probably can make that work. Let's see what is next. All right, so again, I am not a barber, so I'm just kind of thinking about, you know, what a barber might need to start a mobile mobile barber service and i just did a simple search on google again used barber chair uh, man i didn't even spell it right and it got uh yes i did mean barber chair so ebay obviously great place to start let's get on ebay and see what they got you know my first glance just kind of looking in here heck a barber chair that's a decent looking barber chair for 200 bucks i guess the overhead isn't that crazy you know, you, you, I guess if uh, if you can actually find customers, that's not too bad. So 200 bucks for a barber chair. And then, I, you know, whatever else it costs you to, you know, for the other equipment that you might need. You know, there is one thing I was thinking about, depending upon the climate that you're working from. You know, if you're in Florida, you're going to need an air conditioner on top of that van. So, you know, I don't know what a air conditioner would cost to put on the top of it. It's another consideration. And then, you know, is your van going to run the whole time that you're giving someone a haircut so that your air conditioning can run? So another consideration on costs are fuel. So windshield time, how many, you know, haircuts are you going to be able to give in a day if you have to drive from one person's house to the next? You know, these are all considerations that you got to kind of work through. And, and uh, you know, um, when, when you're thinking about doing a venture like this. So I'm going to 
put a few calculations together and see if it makes sense. All right, next I want to do a little startup cost beer math here for this mobile barber service. You know, the first thing we should look at is, of course, the largest cost, which is that step van we were looking at. And we found a step van for, what, $14,000, right? You know, I did do a little more research and found a heating and cooling unit that can be mounted on the top for about 900 bucks. And you're probably looking at about $500 to get that thing installed. Another couple hundred dollars for a barber chair, some interior design costs to make the inside look really nice, some legal and insurance costs to get you going for a grand total of about $17,000 for a barber business. You know, I don't even think you can wash hair with those financial startup costs. Now, let's talk about revenue projections. How much are you going to make? Can you charge $50 per haircut? Can you do five haircuts a day for $250 per day revenue? You know, can you keep that going five days per week for $1,250 per week? You know, times that by four weeks in a month, $5,000 per month. Now, what you've got is a $60,000 per year haircutting career. I don't necessarily think that this is a business because it's not scalable. All right, just to close out this mobile barber business, I wanted to do some research to see if anybody's out there doing it. And you know what? I found a business model that is catering to the very high end of the market here in Nashville, Tennessee. This guy, Luxury Mobile Barber Shop. Uh, now, he does have some specialty services here, scalp micro pigmentation. I don't really know what that is. Uh, I guess if you're a barber, you probably would know what that is. But if you take a look at his site, man, it's a it's a really nice looking site. Hair, face, uh, and more services. Now, look at the inside of his mobile vehicle. Now, he does have a pretty upscale vehicle. He's got a Mercedes, and I guarantee you this has got all the creature comforts of home. It's decked out on the inside. This is no, you know, $15,000 van. This setup right here um, is is pricey. I'm not going to lie. So just to kind of go through his website here, look at his setup. I mean, you know, he obviously is catering to a very high clientele. Now, so the next thing I want to think, you know, the next thing I think about is like, okay, what does he, what is he charging? So let's go over to his prices here. Just take a quick look. And yeah, yeah, he is not cheap. 10 haircuts, $1,875. Add it to cart. You can book them now. There's obviously some other stuff. So I'm just going to go haircuts here. Um, you know, one haircut is $215. You know what? I guess if you can get that for a haircut, then this is not a bad business. I take back everything I said. 